all ladies, it's Crafty Kim 62 and this is for an event on the my group Simply Craft and Swap on Face Group Facebook and um it is the June event of the glue gun heart on a canvas but it can be any shape that you want if you want to have a flower instead of a heart but the heart is quite an easy shape to start off with because it's basically straight lines so that is the finished item I'll just bring it together slowly and then you can see that I've used stencils to show the face and also some, some decorative stenciling as well so that is what we're aiming for. That one is an A5 size and for the demo I'm using a, a slightly larger one of an 8x8 eight eight canvas. I actually picked this up from the pound shop. It's also pre-gessoed so I don't need to put any colouring on the back. I want mine white. So, But if you wanted a different colour then by all means use your gesso, use your tester pot emulsions acrylic paints, whatever you wish to do in the background, then please do. I will be doing more of these canvases and um, we'll be doing specific background techniques on the canvases themselves. So if you want to get a couple in hand, they're cheap enough at the pound shop, but you can actually, um, I have seen some flat canvases um, and I think there was three in a pack, A4 size, and I think they were for, for about £2. I'll have to scout to see where I got them from, but I do have those flat ones ready. So what I did first was made my own template. It was out of an old, um, just a flyer sheet for my craft classes, and I just did a simple heart. You can do any type of heart. You can do a fork art which is where it goes in and it's more of a fancy shape um, but I just wanted a nice normal fat shape. This one is a slightly skinnier one because I wanted the full shape of the A5 canvas. So all I did then was, um, mine just happened to be, I like this background to start on um, so you can see where my lines are and all I've done is drawn round it and cut it out. And I'll keep that template for something else for when I do something ever. So I'll just move the canvas out of the way for a moment and go to the background. So I've got a heart stencil here and I'm just going to do it for the opposite where on my first one I'm going to bring it down a bit because glue is going to go on there anyway but you can see how I've left our face white there I'm actually going to colour our face in and this is just a, a Tim Holtz distress drink and it's festive berries so using my well used scouty little sponge and I'm just going to pounce my stencil I haven't used any stencil tape or anything to um, I'm just holding it down just for, for quickness so I'm just making her the colour that I want so I've now got the outline shape that I want I'll just take that away and I'm just going in to smooth it out as I say, it doesn't matter about that bit because I wanted to elongate it, but the glue is going to go there anyway, so I'm not worried about that. So once that dries, it'll look more even on there. So that is that bit done. So then I've chosen two stencils. I've just used my little tiny itty bitty ones, so these are ideal for, for this type of stenciling. So again, I'm just going to go in and pounce. You can see why my hands are dirty, because I've been practicing on some other stuff this morning, ready for a July event, so watch out for that. So I just move it down. Don't keep it in the same strict order. Don't do all of the stencil. Just leave it blank in part. I'm just going to go over her face in a lighter shade 
just work it down and then wash your stencils as soon as you can afterwards um, I do like to keep them nice and neat because you never know when you'll need them and if they're too gunged up then you'll not be able to and that wastes valuable craft time so I'm just concentrating I'll just have a little bit here if you don't fill in the um, full stencil shape you'll get a softer line so you get softer lines when you do that so I'm quite happy with that at the end I may put some words in recently at Hobbycraft went with a group of friends and I picked up this Tim Holtz ideology and it's the big chat section and it's in black and white so I wanted a ticket type ticket tape um, old fashioned typewriter type um, of words so I will take those out and let them use those for their So the next thing that you need to do is glue this to your canvas, put your ink away so you don't get all messy. So I'm using my glossy accents. You don't have to worry too much about sticking it down because obviously your glue from your glue gun is going to keep it secure. So I'm just going to off-centre mine because it's something I want to do there for my partner in the drawer. That will be a surprise. So we'll just stick it down and then we're ready for, you don't have to wait for anything to dry. You just go ahead and use your heat guns. Right, I'm using the big heat gun and it is it's best to stand up for this so stand up and then all you want to do the first line that you're going to do is just to fix your stencil paper to the canvas itself so don't worry about being straight if it's got bubbles on don't worry you can see how hot this is because the steam coming off. This gesso is water based. The heat is just reacting. So I'm just going to pop another glue stick in. If you want to use glitter glue sticks then that's fine. Right, so that is now down, it's stuck. So from a, the higher you go, the more squiggly the lines get. So your first one maybe, but as you see, it's like treacle or golden syrup. And you just go along. Yes, please. That husband just asking whether I want a cup of coffee. So you just go along. And however it comes out, don't think that you've made a mistake. It's just the way that it's flowing. You may have to stop in between, depending on your, the make of your heat gun. But just go around. And as the clear glue sticks are cheaper than the coloured ones you could and I'm just going to go over in a messy way and before the middle dries I'm just going to put a sprinkling of glitter for this one I'm using the tattered lace very very fine I'm just going to tap that off, put it back in because I will spill it. And 
and now on to my coloured one. I'll just stand that blue gun up. And now for the coloured one. Again, the higher you start, the more wiggly the lines are. If, like me, you've just gone off until you get a feel of it, don't worry. It all adds to the art of yours. Just carry on, carry on, you know, if you want to emphasise that point even more, then do. Just carry on and carry on. And I'm quite happy with that. So move that away. Add more glitter. <laughs> Sorry, husband's making a joke in the background. Add more glitter. Glitter's optional if you're not a glittery person and you like the way it is, then that's fine. So I'll just tap that again. but I didn't like that big blob of glue and if there's any bits that you don't want then just take it away but that is the basis of your heart canvas with stenciling and you can see the difference that's the large one with our face coloured in and then stenciling all around this is the smaller one which I've done in an off white because you can see the difference and I've left her face the other way where it is clear and the stenciling all around where I've just brushed the sponge away from the stencil to give that outline. So thank you for watching ladies. Coffee's here. Many thanks. I'm not going to decorate it in full because I want to leave a surprise for my swap partner. And I will see you later. Crafty Kim saying goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>